Hello, I'm Marie from Lost Arts of Nature and I'm sitting in the woods today. It's a really beautiful day, it's really sunny, but it's quite chilly, which is why I'm in all of my wool clothes and my scarf. It's um, just at, right at the end of October at the moment. Um, but yeah, so it's feeling quite chilly. I thought I would do a little video for you today. Um, I wanted to announce that I am now stocking drop spindle kits and I want to show you those but I also want to offer a free tutorial on how to use them so if you purchase a kit from me um, this is like a tutorial on how to use it I take them to um, craft fairs quite often and I get lots of questions about what are they and um, how to use them and what kind of wool to use them with and so I'm hoping to be able to answer all of those questions in this video. So first of all let me show you um, a kit that I have brought up into the woods with me which I have down here so it'll come in a box um, this one doesn't have all of the um, decoration on the top um, this is just a plain box but when you open it inside and inside the tissue paper you'll see um, some ready carded roll eggs ready for spinning and a drop spindle and the drop spindles are made by my husband from wood here on in our woods um, and the wool um, this particular pack is from uh, hand dyed wool that I've dyed myself in the in the garden here over a campfire with landscape dyes but I do lots of different colourways um, and they're all from various sources oh I'm getting battered by midges and <laughs> they found me <laughs> I've only been up here for a few minutes and they found me already oh I'm going to be scratching the whole time I'll have to excuse my itching I should have worn a hat would have been a good idea so that's what your kit looks like that's how it arrives and how to use it I'm going to show you that now so your drop spindle you hold it this way up so you've got a point at the end and the hook is at the top this is called a top well drop spindle because it's um, you're spinning on the top here and the wool, or rather I should say the yarn that you have spun, sits underneath here. And I will show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, you can also get bottom whirl ones where this disc sits right down here. But this is a top whirl. Um, so in order to use it, I've got my back against this really beautiful oak tree. It's really lovely. Um, but I just want to get myself in a position that I can do this and you can still see me. I always um, spin in a seated position because when you're spinning your drop spindle, as you will see in a moment, it's really useful to be able to hold it between your knees. Um, you, some people also hold it under their arm like this, but I find that quite awkward. But try, it, try both and see which one you prefer. Um, for me, um, my knees hold it really steady for me. So I'm going to choose a colour roll egg that you can see well against this background. I think maybe the white, because you can see that against my cardigan quite well. So you'll take one roll egg out of your kit. And basically what this is, this is wool that I have carded. And by carding, I mean I have used... Um, a tool which is basically two paddles if you imagine two dog brushes and you lay the wool on and then you comb them like this and then back this way and what you're doing the sheep the fiber of the sheep's fleece you're combing it all into one direction um, which makes it easier to spin if it's all tangled you're gonna get very lumpy yarn which in some ways is you know it has its own charm but um, for when you're starting to learn how to spin it's easier if all the fibers are all facing the same way um, and then what I do when I take it off the carder I roll it into like a sausage roll 
um, and that's why it's called a roll ag. So you take your roll ag. Um, this is what you're going to spin from. Um, now I'm right handed, so I'm going to show you the way I do it. If you're left handed, you may need to reverse what I'm doing. So I hold my roll ag in my left hand and my drop spindle in my right hand. And we need to attach this wool onto this hook at the top. Okay, so how do we do that? Because it, because all of the fibres are all combed the same way, if you put the hook in, it's not going to hold. So you have to just pull a little bit of wool out from your roll ag, like so, and just kind of give it a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a twist and rub a little bit. And what that does is it felts it. You're just felting that end bit. You just keep doing that and then test by putting, you hook your hook through that little bit and just see, does it hold? And mine does now. It's not the best hold in the world, but it's just to get it started. Um, you just want it, just enough, you know, that it will, it will do. I'm just going to give it a little bit extra just in case it falls off. So insert the hook three like that so that it's holding. Okay, so now you've attached your, your wool roll leg to your hook. So when you're spinning, um, what you're doing is you're, you've got this lovely fibre which you've made all straight because it's been carded and what you're doing is you're introducing a spin into it because you're spinning, right? That's why it's called spinning. And you want to end up with um, the wool all spun around like this, <laughs> like a spiral. And so if you take your roll egg and just gently, gently move your two hands away from each other, the wool parts and it becomes thinner, right? So do that. So you've got about, what is that, two inches there between the, your finger and the hook. Now, the next bit, you need to keep a really good grip here. You want to make sure that um, you're holding this quite tightly. Then you take your drop spindle. I'm going to go back a bit. You take your drop spindle and you spin it and you're going to spin it clockwise, always clockwise. So for me, that would be this way. Spin, 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 and then hold it. Now let me see what, let me show you what's happened, if I can get it to focus. Can you see the spin? Oh, ah, ah, here. Can you see that it's, it's twisted? So what you've done is you've created all of this twisted energy here. So you're going to now hold your drop spindle between your knees and hold it really steady. You're going to take these two, this forefinger and thumb of your right hand and hold where your left hand was holding. So you're holding that tension in this part here. Then you're going to, <laughs> I'm going to try and get a little bit closer so I can show you better. You're going to draft again. This is called drafting when you pull this hand away from this hand. And I'm going to show you what that looks like, like that. Now it feels like you're going to snap and if you pull them too far away, it will snap. But if you do it gently enough and you practice, you will be able to get um, a good result um, by just gently, gently, gently pulling them apart. So about that much, about two inches again. Now, this is gonna be interesting. I need to hold this between my knees and show you at the same time. Okay, you can see there against my cardigan. I'm gonna let go with this hand here and the twist is gonna travel up this piece of drafted wool. There we are, did you see that? And now I'm going to once again spin the drop spindle clockwise. There we are. Okay, you see? See the twist? So we, we've come back to this point where we have all the twist tension built up here. We're clamping it shut with our left hand here and we're holding our drop spindle. So again, place it between your knees. Again, you're going to um, take your right hand and pinch because you don't want this 
energy of twist coming up into your roll leg, that would be annoying. So you're going to hold it here. You're going to take your left hand and you're going to draft. Again, just like you did before, exactly the same. Hold it here with your left hand, release with your right hand, and the twist comes up. Yeah, travels up. And we repeat again, holding it here tightly. You're going to spin your drop spindle clockwise. And you're building up that tension again. Okay, hold your drop spindle between your knees. And that gives you both hands free. Taking our right hand to hold here, left hand pulls. Gently, gently draft the wool out. Really gently, really just take your time with it. There's no rush. Okay, and when you're happy, you hold with your left, let go with your right, and the twist carries on up. And it's really as simple as that, it really is. I'm gonna give this a little bit more twist by doing this just because I want the twist. Everybody has their own kind of tension of twist that they're happy with. Um, if you find that it's over twisted and you're not happy with it, you can always just let go of the drop spindle and it will um, untwist. And obviously you don't want to do that too much because it will completely untwist and then this will snap. Um, hence why it's called a drop spindle your spindle then drops to the floor <laughs> so once you're happy and you've got a length um, you're gonna need a length bigger than that so let me do a couple more with you here I'll just do a little bit more you probably need something like oh what would we say a good foot long Maybe a bit longer if you can manage. It does start to get unmanageable the longer this gets because um, you start kind of having to um, reach right right up and it's like your arm's not long enough. But you, need, you do need a good foot or so until we can do the next step. And I will show you what that is in just a second. There we are. So, about this long. It's about as long as my arm. That's quite a good, good indicator. Maybe once it gets to as long as your arm. Now, I'm going to hold this roll leg between my knees now to hold the tension. And I'm going to try and show you what I'm going to do. Oh, it just actually did it itself there. So, you're taking, taking the end of your yarn off of the hook. So, you're detached now. Mine just did it itself. And then the end, you're going to hold here against the stick and you're literally going to wind it round. And that is why you need a bit of a length because you want um, to have enough that it's going to hold itself onto here, if you see what I'm saying, if you see what I mean. Now, mine untwisted a little when it undid itself, so I'm just going to put a bit more twist in. There we are. So you're winding it round and now what you'll notice is, is that on your drop spindle, if you look at where the hook is and you look at where the back of the hook is and then you come down here, down here and you look at the disc, you'll see that there's a little groove. Now your yarn is going to sit in that groove like... Oh, I've got midges <laughs> crawling all over my head <laughs> like this so your yarn is going to sit in the groove and then it's going to go around your hook so you're no longer placing it through you're placing it around can you see that okay yeah and now you've got your fingers pinched at your roll leg and you've got your yarn collecting here and it runs through the groove up to the hook and you're gonna do exactly the same thing now now you're set now you can keep spinning for as long as you like as long as you've got this tension here this um, grip here you're gonna build up the tension in your yarn by spinning it clockwise spin 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 hold this between your knees hold here draft your wool 
and the more you do this the easier it becomes it's like anything isn't it practice practice makes perfect and you can start to do it like this where you're drafting up you're letting the twist out and then you can look at it and say well I need a bit more twist in there so we're going to twist it again holding drafting and it actually becomes this really lovely meditative thing to sit and do There we go, winding it on and I'm going to show you now a close up of how this rollag has spun up. It's really exciting to see a rollag in a colourway and then see the colour yarn that it produces. Is it in focus? Where's the, I'm going to just press the screen and see if I can get it to focus. There, can you see it? It's come out really lovely. Oh that's better isn't it, you can see it. <laughs> it's lovely. So that is how to spin on a drop spindle. I hope that's been informative. I hope that has answered all of, all of your questions and started you on your spinning journey. It's a lovely journey to be on. Um, there are some next steps now. Um, once you have spun until this is all full, you'll come to a point where you want to go on to the next step which is plying which is why when you buy wool yarn from a shop you would have two ply or three ply or four ply plying is when you you're literally twisting two of these strands together and it helps to hold the twist um, and then you can use that yarn then for knitting or crocheting or weaving or whatever you are going to then do with your wool, um, with your wool yarn I should say. Um, for that I'm going to do another video because uh, this video is already getting quite long and I feel like it would be, I just, we'll do it step by step and, and that would be easier. It's a whole nother thing plying so just get the hang of this first. Um, just have loads of fun with it, experiment, you'll have lots of um, breaking of yarn and um, drop spindles falling and that's fine, it's not a problem, it's all part of the learning process. If, um, let me show you how to rejoin the yarn in case you do find a breakage. So if that happens, I'm going to just come a bit closer to show you. I'm wondering if I can bring my camera a bit closer actually so that I can show you properly how to do this. I'm using a um, not great tripod. Here we go. So say your yarn breaks when you're spinning like this. Uh oh, what do we do? So we hold here and you just untwist a little way. The important thing is is that you have a fluffy bit here if you've got a fluffy bit here, we can mend it and it's just fine. So we just make it all nice and fluffy. Don't felt it. <laughs> Keep it nice and fluffy. Take the fluffy end of your rollag, put the two together like so. Okay, so now your two fluffy, fluffy bits are together. And hold it way up here. And in fact, actually, hold it where it broke it's easier if you hold it where it broke. Build up your tension by spinning clockwise. There we go. A bit more. Now, taking your right hand, we're going to pinch it here. And this is the section where it broke and you've put the two fluffy bits together. Okay, we're going to let go of this hand. Oh, I'm trying to do it in a way that you can see. There we go. And it just spins up. And the two fluffy ends just spin together. It really is very easy to fix if that happens. And you just carry on spinning. There we are. And it's fixed. So it's very forgiving. <laughs> I'm really close now. I'm going to try and like get penned into the camera. It's very forgiving. Um, if you do have any questions, um, please leave them below in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you and I can always do more videos to answer questions. Um, 
I'm always really happy to help um, people learn new skills. By the way, if you want to put this down and you've done your spinning for the day and you know you need to champ back through the woods home or whatever, um, spin it round the, ho the hook a couple of times to secure it and then you can just hook your roll lag on and it just keeps it nice and secure and it will just be waiting for you next time you want to pick it up. So <laughs> enjoy your spinning time. It's a really lovely meditative thing to do. Um, please leave any questions below that you need answered. Look out for the next step, which is plying, which I will show you. Um, I can also do um, a video on carding, if making roll ags, if that's something that people are interested in. Um, if you buy the kit from me and you run out of roll ags, you might um, be wondering how to then make more to go on to do more spinning. And I'm really happy to um, advise on how to do that as well. So, um, yeah, there's nothing left for, more left for me to say than enjoy your spinning adventures. And uh, I will see you next time with something else. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.